Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back again, as always, to Joe Stunner Boxing. <clears throat> Over the last week, we've had a couple of um, press, conference, press conferences for major fights coming up. A few days ago, we had um, AJ versus Usek, the rematch. And there was that rather embarrassing stare down for AJ, where he, was, he looked like he was trying to intimidate Usek or make his presence felt, and Usek was having none of it. Why you would take on someone in a staring contest with who looks like a bloody serial killer, I don't know. But AJ thought he was going to do it and he came off second best. It was a little bit, a little bit embarrassing for him. But, but yesterday we had Golovkin and Canelo. And we'll, skip, we'll sort of skim the press conference because there were a, little, a couple of little things worth mentioning. Canelo spoke first. Eddie Hearn was spoon-feeding him the loaded questions in order to try and beef everything up. Yes, he felt it was personal. He doesn't like Golovkin because he pretends to be a nice guy. In public anyway, really behind the scenes he isn't. Um, then you switch to, Can uh, to uh, Golovkin who says it's not personal at all. You know, If it is to him, that's his baggage. I don't care. This is just me wanting to win a fight. Um, and then we came to the stare down which was the polar opposite of Usyk AJ. <clears throat> because I felt that Canelo, <clears throat> excuse me, I felt that Canelo was trying to make his presence felt and Golovkin wasn't having any of it. Golovkin, he looks like a geography teacher, doesn't he? He looks like a chartered, a chartered surveyor or chartered accountant or something. A quantity surveyor, that's the phrase I'm looking for. He looks like a guy who's never been in a ring in his life, but he's got that steely inner determination, which is really quite frightening when you think about it. Talk about still waters running deep. Uh, and as we know, empty vessels make the most noise. And in this case, Canelo was the empty vessel and Golovkin was definitely the still water. But he wasn't budging an inch. He stared unblinkingly at Canelo, a very faint smile on his face. And it was Canelo that looked away. And Golovkin maybe looked at him for another second and then turned away. So if you want to say that you can, quote unquote, win a staring contest, I suppose you could say Golovkin won. Does it really mean anything? Not really. Um, I don't think Canelo is scared of Golovkin. I don't think, certainly don't think Golovkin's scared of Canelo. But I don't, I don't normally pay attention to these, to these press conferences, especially when the fight is, you know, weeks away, months away, whatever. Because I think people can read too much into it. But but when the fight was first announced, I thought, like a lot of people, I thought, the cards are definitely stacked even more so in Canelo's favour. Because it's at 168. Golovkin can probably still make 160 with a, you know, at a push. How will he adapt at 168? Canelo's unified the belts at 168 over a year's period. And... And has fought at light heavyweight a couple of times and my immediate reaction was Canelo stops him this time. Golovkin's past his best. I'm a massive Golovkin fan, I'll, I'll be honest with you. He's never been caught for PEDs, which Canelo has. That's definitely a black mark against Canelo and always will be, or any fighter who gets caught for PEDs. Golovkin never has been. <clears throat> um, I don't hold with the criticism that he fought no one. He fought those that were available. I don't think he ducked anyone. Um... I know people mention Andrade and a couple of others, but I don't buy it. I don't buy it at all. Um, and uh, as but, but as far as the first two fights go between GGG and Alvarez, I think they were very close. And I don't hold with this idea that Golovkin was necessarily robbed. I definitely think you can make a close. Or you can make a case for him winning two close decisions, definitely, instead of a draw and a defeat. But, and don't get me wrong, Canelo's had a lot of things stacked in his favour in terms of judges throughout his career. But on those two, with those two fights were concerned, I thought, I thought Golovkin probably edged both of them, but I don't view them as quote unquote robberies. A robbery is Cattrall getting jobbed against Taylor. You know, um, yeah, if AJ had got the decision over Usyk, that would have been a robbery. But but not those two fights. But I do like GGG a lot. I think he's actually underrated. Um, I think he's an extremely good middleweight who would 
who would be competitive in any era of the history of the middleweight division. And I'll probably support him in this fight, although I want him to win fairly. Um, Canelo, I still make a red-hot favourite. I'm not going to make a prediction now because <laughs> it's weeks away, isn't it? For all we know, the fight might get cancelled, but yeah, I, I, it was an interesting. It, the one thing that you that Golovkin will never be defeated on is his mentality. It, he won't be psychologically dented. He won't be intimidated. He'll fight anyone, anywhere. Um, and I don't think Canelo is open to intimidation either. So this fight's probably going to be a lot more competitive than I thought it was going to be. I hope so, anyway. And the one thing I don't want to see is GGG sort of outclassed because of his age. He's only 40 now. I don't want to see that. Um, if he loses legitimately, that's fine. That's fine. No problem. If someone gets beat legitimately, shake the hands of the winner, commiserate with the loser. And I just feel that even though I make Canelo a sturdy, sturdy favourite, GGG is a live underdog. Although, if the, if you're talking about the overall trilogy, it's never been, the gulf has never been bigger between the favourite Canelo and the underdog GGG. In fact, you could make GGG the favourite in their first two fights, even though he ended up not getting the decision. So I'm, I'm more intrigued about this fight than I thought I, I would be. If you've got any comments, leave them below. Um, what do you think of the stare down, the press conference? The after, uh, after the press conference, they were interviewed. GGG, again, very sort of relaxed. There was an intensity about him, though. I like that with, with Golovkin. He was answering very respectfully, very directly, but he didn't say much. His answers were very sort of almost curt and... It's like he was, again, he was, oh, it's not personal. I'm, you know, I'm coming for him, but it's not personal. And he denied that it was personal, but he also denied that winning all those belts meant anything. So you have to ask, well, what is it? I think one of the interviews I saw, Danny Flexen, was, it was a second out interview. Danny Flexen said, well, what do you want to win for? He just said, well, I love boxing. I don't think he's been entirely honest. I think it kind of is a bit personal for Golovkin. But let me know your thoughts. Leave them below. Uh, thank you for watching. I always appreciate your time. If you are new to this channel, you haven't seen a video before, please hit the like button. We're almost at 600 subscribers. It would be nice to get over that 600 mark. Um, we're just a modest channel, but we're growing all the time. Like the video as well. That would be great. And um, again, thanks for your time. We, we shall speak again soon. Take care of yourselves.